So, I am doing this video in response to a request by Gar Gaming, who, by the way, has a pretty cool channel that I checked out. I'll put the description or the link to his in the description below in this video. You can go check it out. Basically, doing epic voice, uh, base, uh, you know, epic movie voice, whatever. It's actually not that hard. So to begin with, what you want to do is go and listen to the epic voice in trailers. Go and watch them and listen to them and even speak along with them to try to copy them. The way our bodies are set up, our brains, is we're trying, they're meant to mimic and copy voices. We did this since we were babies. We try to copy and mimic what we hear. So go listen to those and try to mimic them. After you've done that, then you can come in here to Sony Vegas and then you can attempt to recreate that voice yourself. So I am going to do that right here and I'm probably not going to do it a, you know, a super awesome voice, but you don't need to. And that's the point of this tutorial is to show you how to make one even if you don't think you're that good. So I've got my mic in here and I'm going to record. In a world where things seemed awesome, people were watching this awesome tutorial to see how to do your very own awesome trailer voice. You're right, I'm not that good, but you and everyone can do their very own voice. Golly, that sure sounded funny. You could hear that I lowered my voice. I attempted to relax my my muscles a little bit while I did the lower voice. Lots of times when you relax your muscles, your voice tends to drop, your your tonation tends to drop. Um, and you can you could hear me. I was just trying to copy, you know, the way they sounded. So let's go in. Often what I do first thing is I go open this where it says track noise gate. I tend to up it just a little bit. Usually it's down to zero. Um, you don't have to do this. You don't need to do this. I just do this because it helps eliminate some background noise. Now you need three plugins, which are most important. Uh, reverb, pitch shift, and equalization. And reverb is actually the least important. So equalization, bring up the bass. Usually I don't go above 10. If you want a lot of bass, you know, 7, 8, pretty good limit right there. Pitch shift. Make sure you preserve duration. And now we take it down. For me, I take it down to 2. People who have lower voices won't need to go as far down. People with higher voices might need to go down further. But we'll leave mine at 2. Reverb. Typically, you don't need a whole lot of reverb. So we tone that down quite a bit. Let's listen to it now. In a world where things seem awesome. Gonna put up the reverb. People were watching this awesome tutorial to see how to do your very own awesome trailer for oh, you listen to it. Alright, I'm not that good. But you and everyone can do their very own voice. Ha <laughs> kinda of fun. Anyways. That's all there is to it. The uh, best thing to do is when you attempt this, start messing around with all the settings and see what you can do to change it and make it more interesting. This is probably the quickest and easiest way to do it. And quite frankly, that's the way I like to do things. Quick and easy. Anyways, enjoy your new awesome epic movie trailer voice. <laughs>